There is no such thing as an alpha male. I am so glad that you asked this question because it is such a teachable moment. The term alpha male was created by an author named David Meck, who wrote a book in the 1970s called The Wolf, The Ecology and Behavior of an Endangered Species. He studied wolves in captivity and noticed aggressive behavior from the males towards each other and the pack in an effort to dominate, and he called them alpha males. Years later, in 1999, the same author came back and debunked his own theory and, in fact, begged the publisher to stop creating and printing his original theory. How did he do that? He studied wolves in the wild. And in their natural state, they did not exude this aggressive behavior and need to dominate. So you see, the alpha male does not exist now before we go before we get into this isn't it ironic that here's a man who proclaims he has male talking points man talking points masculine talking points and the only people who support his talking points when it comes to masculinity are women you can go anywhere to get the lies but i know you came here to get the truth welcome to the alpha sphere welcome to the alpha sphere the only place on the planet that's totally engulfed in positivity and totally submerged in alpha energy. I'm your host, Dr. B.O.A. You know, let me tell you what I like about that video. Um, I, I didn't know that that whole theory in terms of what happened with the alpha male and all that. Um, what I like about her analysis is that it helps people understand that manhood, it's a lot more complex than thumping your chest how many women you slept with, uh, whether you drinking your liquor and smoking a cigar and gr growling at everybody. Uh, manhood is uh, about, um, among many things in my view, uh, effective leadership. Yeah? Uh, yeah. This is the man's wedding day. Who's the guy, who's the fella? Okay, boys is the one looking goofy. I can't see it's cut off. From and my brother Willie D. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah. Oh, look at is that. Is the face. one she looking like? Why couldn't it be you? <laughs> That's terrible. If I'm sorry. This, I don't mean to be loud. If you was if you was a random person and you looked at this picture, you would think Willie D would be the one marrying her. He's the one walking her down. Willie aisle. D looking at her like, no, go up there and get married <laughs> to this man. You gotta play it off. Hey. Do you see boys walking face? Yeah. It looks Super simp face as this is ridiculous, dog. He looked like the daddy walking her down the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we want to keep saying, but we got two, I got too many body language photos just like this. But it can catch it in a hot second. So I'm just, I'm just you giving him the benefit of the doubt. On your wedding day, you gonna be looking at another man like that, D? It could be a hot, quick second. She could have said, That oh, means yes. No. You you get down I like she get down. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. I want to talk to Mr. Watkins and let him know that even though you made a mistake and threw a match at a flamethrower with Corey Holcomb, I'm not mad at you. But Somebody has to explain this shit right here. All right? Look at how... Boys, you see how Willie D's Willie suit fit them? That's how yours supposed to fit on your wedding day. <laughs> you look off the rack like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you and Marcus got the most f***ed up suits. Uh, in <laughs> if Marcus, it's one of the 4th of July Marcus I have on a suit that fit him just like this. You, you see this shit, man? Get a tailor, man. The man said everybody calling him a simp for the wrong reason, and I know he was doing it on purpose. I got a woman that adore me. They got my back. And I would get down on one knee in front of the world for her. Getting on one knee for a woman that you love don't make you a simp. Getting on one knee 
for somebody who came back out the streets like Forrest Gump girl did. That's what's simplish about what you did. This is this is the problem. Miss Watkins, we need you to come out publicly and say you love your husband because he has lost too much credibility with these photos. I ain't even showed all the shit people sent to me. These photos are too compromising. Miss Miss Watkins, will you please let the world know that you love your husband so I could stop messing with him? Cause it looked like you making a fool out of him. Yeah, man. You that's the only way he gonna recover, man. Getting you, married ain't nothing no more. Oh that's nothing. That's the only way you're gonna recover, man. And you gotta get your wife to come on the internet and express her love for you. So we can see how much of a good good of an actor she is. Get out of it, boys. Get out of it. I heard you admit oh, on air. Yeah, we talked about what Corey said. That's right, you talked about what I said. You think I'm just a comedian? That's a great picture man. right there, though. Oh. I am. I, what does it say? It had descriptions. Who did that? Oh my what? gosh! <laughs> what did it say? Oh no! Look who she. Look who she closer to. She says, "I got a good job. I make very, very good money." And she says, "The only thing I need now is a man." <laughs> it's like, yo, like, <laughs> it's like who wants you? Who wants you? You, you right. right? Like once you have achieved these things, you have unfortunately disqualified yourself. Ooh. I don't know what strange little man or little men believe <laughs> that a woman who makes money disqualifies herself. First of all, this is not a basketball game. You're not disqualified from anything because you're doing well. Second of all, men who know how to do well are not intimidated by women who do well. Uh, third of all, a woman who's doing well is your teammate. And the, the idea that anybody would be intimidated by that is out of uh, out of control. I believe most men don't believe this nonsense, but I just want to make sure it's 100% clear. If you're doing well and if you're succeeding, let your light shine. A strong man will appreciate that. He won't be scared of it. Talk to you later. Peace. Now, when you see this and you see Boyce's response, how are you, who is the same guy, who took this picture with your new wife in Willie D. How are you going to turn around and say someone else is suffering from ED? When the reality of the scenario is, if anybody's suffering from ED, it's you. You don't show any backbone. You never have, even before you got married. This is the woman you always wanted. You couldn't get her. And now you get her when you're her best option. If she had a better option, she wouldn't be with you now. But you're too blind to see that. And you always open in your mouth trying to down some young man who has his head on right. Okay, boys, you finally got the girl. But she's not the girl you wanted. Other men got that girl. You get the grown lady she's become. All of those things you desire are gone. But you so caught up in finally getting the girl that you can't see that. Man, you are not an expert on how men should be dealing with women. You are just the opposite. You are the least likely to give a man positive information about how he needs to deal with women. You can't even give a man positive inspiration about how he deal with women. So how you gonna give him information, boys? And I normally don't call guys by name, but this is sickening for you of all people to look at this young brother and say, well, if you talk like him, then you're something from ED. Boys, you're an old guy. If anybody suffering from ED, it's you. Let's be realistic. So don't deflect from yourself and try to press the issues you're having in your life into this man's life. He's doing what a man does. You know what you did? You got the woman you chose. You got her. It don't matter what nobody say. You still got her. And if that man says he don't want that kind of woman, guess what? BOA agrees with him. I don't want that kind of woman either. I don't need no woman who got a career, man, then made all this money and did all that. That's not what the traditional relationship is based on. And if you're going to be in a traditional situation like marriage, then you need to be in a traditional setup. The crazy thing is, boys, you make the money and you still ain't in a traditional setup. You know why? Because you have to be a certain type of man to be in that situation. Had to be a certain type of man to place those type of demands on your woman. Why? Not because you're an overbearing man, but because you are the man who is going to hold up your end of the bargain. So you have the right to demand those things. 
And if you have a woman who feels like she's put in the type of work that you put in in life, you're not going to get that from her. We all know that. It seems like you don't know it. And the fact that you act like you don't know it, this goes to show, man, that you are not a man who needs to be speaking to men about how they should be in a relationship with a woman unless they want to be beta males like you. If they want to be the type of man you are, who's in this picture again, come on, man. Why are we going to listen to you talk to us about women when none of us want to end up in that scenario, in that picture, with a guy whose energy is obviously positive to our woman? See, the reality of a scenario with a man like this is that he simply doesn't realize that deep down inside, we know you wish you could have got the girl back when you wanted her. We know that. You finally got the girl, you're overjoyed. But it doesn't change the fact that you are still the same dude who would accept the girl after she's been with men that she assumed were better than you. And now that you're her best option, she's there. You got the girl. See, we're, we're men who want to get the girl when she's still young. We want to get her in her 20s, not in her 40s or 50s. We don't want that. It's not like you met the girl when she was in her 30s, 40s, 50s. No, you knew when she was young in her best marketplace value. You knew that. So don't you dare look at any other man and say that he must be suffering from ED because he don't want a woman. Let me tell you something. If you suffer from ED, that's the kind of woman you want. She's the woman who don't even know what it takes to please her. If you got ED, she's the one you want because she ain't even big on intimacy anyway. That's how you got the girl. She got to the point in life where she's not big on intimacy because every day she got to wake up to a man she don't want to be intimate with. Accept that about yourself. And see, I don't have anything to do with nothing you do, man, but I'm not going to stand back and let you take this young man who is speaking the truth of life. The truth of life. See, you don't know what it is to deal with women of today because you've been too busy waiting for the woman of yesteryear to become your woman of today. The reality of the scenario is this. When you speak on women, you always speak from a position of servitude. You always speak from a position of reverence and you always speak from a position of powerlessness. And so any man who wants to have a position of power in his relationship should never listen to you, ever. Listening to you puts the man in the same situation you're in. And I'm going to be honest with you. I know thousands of men, and I personally don't know any, who want to be in that situation. As a matter of fact, I meet men who are trying to get advice on how to get out of that situation. Let's be realistic. ED sufferers are the men who settle for the woman who really didn't want them in the first place. Men who are out here building themselves into the most alpha version of themselves and becoming that version of themselves only accept what they demand. Because like I always say, you deserve what you demand, but you also deserve what you accept. And unfortunately, you have accepted the girl who didn't, and now she does, only because she can't do any better now. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you mean have to say. I'm out. Where you transform